Racer Radio on AM 1170. The answer is sponsored by Love Radio Network. This is Racer Radio on AM 1170. The answer. If it's a car, motorcycle, boat, or anything else with an engine in San Diego, it's on Racer Radio. Now, here's your host, Dave Stahl. All right, folks. Hey, welcome to Racer Radio. I'm Dave. Michelle's on the line as well. <laughs> Corona Circle Track is the sponsor for this segment, 1750 Wildcat Canyon Road in lovely Lakeside. If you want to check out the Barona race schedule, go to baronaspeedway.com, baronaspeedway.com for all of the information you could possibly want. Everything from scheduling to track rules to car building rules and all the opportunities, whether you want to help out the track, maybe a little bit of volunteering, it's all right there. All right. Hey, we got Brittany on the line. Good afternoon. Well, good afternoon. Did you get your scheduling all figured out? <laughs> yeah, we're all good. All is well on this end. How are you, Dave and Michelle? Well, Michelle's well, yeah, Michelle's good. up in Orange County, and I'm down here in the box. And yeah. I heard you had a pretty good night last night. Oh, yeah, I did. I had a great time. I always do, Dave. You always have a good time, whether you even go to the track. <laughs> so talk to us. Oh, I... How did it go last night? The weather was perfect. I know that. Oh, man, once the sun, well, even while the sun was up, if you were in the right spot, you could catch a nice breeze. Mm -hmm. That would not be my particular pit area, so my crew and I kind of hung out Uh at someone else. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, and then once the sun went down, oh, man, between it cooling off, there was kind of some moisture in the air, and uh, Dunlap, he's a dwarf driver, number four, he cuts the track for the main event. He cut that thing so nice. And then with that moisture, it held some moisture. And even the dwarfs, we went last, and it was not a dust bowl. But he did a great job, and the temperature was nice, and the moisture in the air. And I don't think there were any bad wrecks. And it was a wonderful night through Facebook and texts and just conversations. Mm-hmm. Overall, a lot of people were saying that was a great night of racing. Right. So do you have any rundowns as to who's on first? Yes. Cool. What I you got? sure do. Yeah, I was packed up. It was like 10 people were about to leave, and all of a sudden someone comes up, Brittany, these are for you. I'm like, what's this? Oh, the results. Okay, guess I'm calling in. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah, that, that was your first clue. Yeah, yeah, surprise. But no, here we go. Right. Let's see, with the mini, mini dwarf sportsman, we have Charlie Carter in the number one car as the main event winner. And so check this out. I believe the Mini Dwarf Sportsmen have run seven main events. And Charlie, in the number one, has raced seven main events. And Charlie has won seven main no. events. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I guess he's on a streak. <laughs> yeah. And if he's a Mini Dwarf Sportsman as opposed to the Mini Dwarf Masters, So I wonder if that's an age thing, because he did hop out of the car, and he was a tiny little thing. Uh, But you obviously uh, can't can't judge a book by its cover. uh Uh-uh. Well. (laughs) So what's next? It's all fair in racing, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Once you get that uh, suit on and helmet and you're strapped Mm -hmm. in, we all pretty much look the same. Exactly. The mini mini dwarf mask. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. Our mini dwarf master's division, oh, this is a good one, Jaylen Gill uh, in the number 59 earned her first main event win. And it looks like until then it's been controlled by the Deegans. We have Deegan in 84 winning a bunch of mains and Deegan in the 66 winning. And finally Jaylen got herself a first main event win. And there was a little... Um, I couldn't quite understand the results because I'm seeing stuff on Facebook and yada, yada. But Eric Evans cleared it up, and he sent me a post that says, Yes, Jalen won. This is her very first main event win. For three straight hours, she would not put that trophy down. <laughs> <laughs> she probably went to – I bet she went to bed with it last night. What do you want to bet? Probably, probably. And he went on to say, I love to see the excitement and passion these children have for racing. So I thought that was adorable. I was like, I'm sharing that on the radio. <laughs> so congratulations mm-hmm. to Jay Lynn. She has her first main event win. I have no idea what that's like. <laughs> it's coming. It's oh, coming. Have hey. no fear. Brittany, you will get there. Yeah. 
So we'll get there. Then we have the junior sprints. And in the junior sprints, Michael Fing in the 38 was the main event winner. And it looks like he's also leading in the overall point standing. So congratulations to Michael Fing. Um, wow, though, number seven, Shane Sexton, he did some aerial tricks which we don't like to see. You know, he did basically a cartwheel. Um, with his- um, um, yeah. But, he, yeah, he's fine. I, I think I saw him getting interviewed later on and uh, still smiling. The kid's always smiling. <laughs> and so I'm sure he'll be back soon. So thank goodness, you know, we prepare for that. And he was prepared with all his safety. And, uh, but, but stop it with the aerial tricks. And yeah. unfortunately, mm-hmm. not Yeah. And then on to the adult, the featured main event was the street stock. And in the street stock division, Everett Hartsuker in the number 55 got his first main event win of the season. So congratulations to Everett in the 55 on that win. And then on to the pro pony and the stock pony. We had Dennis Taylor in the number 11 win the main event in the Pro Pony, and this was his fifth main event win this season. So congratulations. Wow. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. Good for him. And then, I know, he knows what he's doing. That's a question where is it setup, is it driver, combination, is it mindset? I'd love to know to win Mm -hmm. five races. (laughs) And then in the Stock Pony, we have – Tommy Crow and the number 44 get his second main event win. And what caught my eye on this is of the four uh, stock pony drivers who showed up, all four of them have won at least one main event. Mm. So from a racer perspective, how fun is that? You know, yeah, that's a good competition. Exactly. And, and you know that when you win, it's an earned win and that you always show mm-hmm. up to win. So that that seemed cool. Tommy has two main events. Curtis in the 79 has two main event wins. Eric in the 46 has a main event win. And then Michael Singh in the 38, he is the junior I talked about earlier. So he, talk about a focused man, young man. He wins in the uh, junior sprint and then hops into a stock pony and races with the adults. He did all that mm. yesterday. Gosh. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And, and Dave, you would have been proud. I watched his uh, post-race interview, and he did an awesome job. He was so prepared with his thank yous and his sponsor recognition. I thought of you. I thought Dave would, yeah. that. Dave would be very proud. He always got to yes. do that. <laughs> That's yeah. excellent. No, I love it when they do that. That's so cool. I know. I, know. I was lucky enough to bump into Michael's father in the pits, and I even told him I, I noted that post-race interview and how, how good it was. Oh. Then on to the IMCA Modified, uh, Royce Henry in the number one car got his fourth main event win of the season, and it looks like he really had to work for it because he started in the eighth position and was able to move his way up. So good for him oh. on that. Yeah. Yeah. Good for him. And <laughs> and, you know, the Modifieds are often uh, one of the crowd favorites. And I'm noticing here that the Modifieds are really representing at Verona this season. They had 16 show up uh, wow, at the beginning wow. of the day. 16, you know, out there at once. That's a lot of energy out there. That's a lot of horsepower. Yeah. That's a lot yeah. of horsepower. <laughs> it's a lot of a lot out there. Uh, it looks like. Unfortunately, three didn't finish the heat and four did not finish the main. But still, they're representing well at Verona this season. So good for mm-hmm. all those drivers showing up. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you have the um, the rest of the podium for the modifieds? Okay, let's see. So, I know, that, hard question. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did just throw the glasses on here. I'm up to the bifocal oh, stage here. Uh, main finish. You no, know, second place looks like. Steven, he's in the 15 KD. He got second. And Matthew Hicks, has he called in with you? Yes. Uh-huh. Yes, he has. It looks like he earned a third place last night. Did you want all of them, Michelle? I can. Oh, um, no. Just... <laughs> no, no, that's good. Did you have any other, did you have any other group, uh, or was that it? 
Well, uh, I have two more divisions. Let's do it. Okay, we have the pure stock, of course. And Jason Aldridge in the number four went home with his first main event win, so that must feel good, Jason. Mm -hmm. And then uh, last but certainly not least with Dwarf Cars, and uh, we had 16 show up, which is typical for us, actually kind of on the low end. And number 88, Michael Tobiasen, brought home a second main event winner, our win. And uh, he's actually heading to college today. I think he's going to college out of state. So he left a mark here in San Diego. <laughs> and he sure did. Yeah. I went up and congratulated him and, and wished him well in college and maybe encouraged him to have fun, but find that fine balance between fun and not too much fun. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the college <laughs> plan. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So he did say he'll come back next year. We're all looking forward to that. He's a good, and he's yet another good, clean, humble driver mm -hmm. out at Verona. Uh, you yeah. know, sometimes you just hear about the other side, but we've got a lot of good guys out there and ladies. Mm -hmm. So. Sure. That is how it went. Our next race at Verona is August 12th, and the dwarf car should be the featured main. We went last, so that should make us first next time, yeah. two weeks. All right. So, yeah. hey, if, I, I never I never forget to remember to ask you this. So if people wanted to follow you, uh, social media and all that, what's the best way to do oh. it? You're saying follow me you. in particular? Yeah, you. Well, just because there is the Barona on Facebook. You can do Barona Speedway. There's Barona Dwarf as well. And then for me, it's kind of weird. It's number, N-U-M-B-E-R. And then the second word is two dwarf, T-W-O-D-W-A-R-F. And that's just because my first uh, number, race number was two. Mm -hmm. And I got a lot of followers and stuff, and we didn't switch it over to 37. But number two dwarf. And my mom posts all the videos and she posts the winners and yeah, it'd be great. Well, you know, you just, like I said, I'm sure you can always use a little sponsorship too. So if somebody sees you out there and wants to get a hold of you and hook you up and help you out, then, you know, that would be great. Cause you know, I, I do, may I say really appreciate the Amsoil and the sprung monkey and the suicidal tendency mm -hmm. and the Alpine motorsports and the bullseye feed store and of course San Diego <laughs> farms and still buildings because they, what they do is they help me to get out there and challenge myself as so many of us do. And, and I believe you don't know what you're capable of until you push yourself to the limit. And I get to do that every other week. I know. And, I and you need it. to go up to Bullseye and say, Dave Stahl says you need to give me more money. Nah. Mm. I know him really well. As much money as I give them with all the stuff we buy, just tell them to hook you up. Yes, they they are really helping me out. They they stepped up quickly and early in this three-year career. Of our, two years ago, they did, and yeah. I really, really, really appreciate that. Yeah, they're fantastic yeah. folks. Hey, yep, and I, there's I where the big from, smile comes from. <laughs> yeah. I heard from Allison and Maddie Gay. They, oh. You know, they were up in Madeira, and oh, I yeah, contacted yeah. mom. <laughs> How'd they do? She says, we're still, well, she says, this was about an hour ago, still driving um, oh. down from Madeira. Both cars are in one piece, so that's good. Allie had good. problems with the brakes and a flat tire. Uh, the girls finished 13th and 14th ah. and thanking their sponsors. It, and I can't help but think of a quote I saw. It said, I either win or I learn. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What, a, what, a great, what a great way to end that with uh, Brittany, yeah. the school teacher. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hey, kiddo, it's always a blast having you call. You can always come into the studio whenever you feel like it, and we'll be okay. talking to you down the road, kiddo. Right on. Keep All right. talking to you, too. All right, folks.